Hello there, welcome back and thank you for tuning in again. This time is going to be a very special video, one that I've been wanting to do for quite some time. I'm going to be covering Super Robot Wars T for the Nintendo Switch. Now this is a series that's very near and dear to my heart. I've been a fan of it ever since the first su two Super Robot Wars OG original generation games debuted for the Game Boy Advance. I looked into the series and just found out that the mainline series, Super Robot Wars, is all about... Well, it's a crossover series. A series that specifically crosses over Mecha from, usually, 12 to 20 anime series per title. And as you're going to see for a minute, in a few minutes here, that is going to result in a great deal of units for you to play with. The series is structured as a fantasy uh, strategy RPG, uh, much like Final Fantasy Tactics or Fire Emblem. If you ever played one of those, you're going to recognize the gameplay right away in Super Robot Wars. So, but really, what the series is about is fan service. Much like Hardcore Mecha, which I reviewed uh, about a week ago, this series is made by fans for fans. Specifically, fans of Mecha anime and anime in general, as you can see here. You're going to get a chance to play as a lot of very famous units in this series. Hello, Noah Bright. How you doing? We've got Captain Harlock right there. You just missed Ruri from Natasiko. What's up? Gunsword. Hello there. A couple of anime, which I totally forget their names. I know I'm terrible. Uh, Dubine. How you doing? Zeta Gundam. What's up? And of course, we got Double Zeta. Hey. Oh, and don't think. And G Gundam. Can't forget G Gundam. And. Mike Gain right there, Go Guy Gar. Oh man, who else is up in here? Cowboy Bebop, Gunbuster, Mordadasiko, Shingetter, Mazinger, Ray Earth. Yes, it's it's pretty much an all-star game of Mighty Mecha teaming up to do battle. And that is a spectacular series. Now where was I? Well, again, the main point of I'm just going to backtrack to my original point. The main point of this series is about fan service for the fans, by the fans. And so you're going to know right away if you're going to be into this series. Basically, if you're a fan of mecha anime and strategy RPGs, you absolutely do need this in your life. And as for the plot, well, it's pretty stupid, but the rule of cool is what is dominant in the plot. Basically, with this many people crossing over, you can't ask for logic. You can't ask for... A certain amount of technicality but it can ask for the interactions to be awesome and they are you got cowboy bebop talking with g gundam talking with dubine talking with Navasiko, talking with frontier settler it zeta gundam double zeta again it really is just about the fan service and that's all you can ask for and the fan service continues into the graphics as well as we're going to see in a few moments Basically, a lot of these attacks are designed to be as authentic to the anime as possible. And here we go with Mazinger. So Mazinger is going to lead us off here, and as you're going to see, it's just designed to really conduct the feel of the individual anime. Mazinger is done in its style, but beautifully and with, more, a, with a more modern aesthetic. Sorry, I lost my ability to speak there. And as you can see, these attack animations would not be out of place in the anime itself. And that's really the point. We're going to come up to Gunbuster in a few minutes, um, along with Cowboy Bebop. And as you're going to see, it's very hard to tell with some of these frames of animation whether they were taken directly from the anime or whether they were created in-game just to remake the feel of the anime. And that is... Either way, it really just speaks a lot about how much the makers of this series love, just love the anime and want you to really get into the spirit of the fun that they're having. Now, here's a great attack from Gunbuster, the Inazuma Kick. And one of the reasons I had to have this into the video, as you're going to see, the face of the enemy as she delivers this kick is absolutely priceless. And once again, just a moment that could be di taken directly from Gunbuster, which is a 90s anime. And just looking absolutely fantastic and authentic. And there's the face right there. That's a face of an enemy that is preparing to meet its lord. Or in the case that this is Amazinger enemy, preparing to meet its Dr. Hell. And with names like Dr. Hell, how can you not love Amazinger? So, now another 
Now I just want to get to leave the graphics behind for a second, but as you can see from other attacks, they're going to be looking awesome and get into the sound design. Basically, you're going to have the original voice actor showing up, deliver quips, then bounce lines off each other. That's an awesome little touch, as well as are the instrumental themes of all the various anime that, that will play during attacks, as well as key moments in the story. We got Cowboy Bebop here about, well, Spike from Cowboy Bebop about to deliver the Bebop Fervation number two. And this is another moment, which is, it's just going to be recreating the opening from the anime. And that is going to be very, very cool for you Cowboy Bebop fans. So, and I know you can't hear it, but yes, it's the original voice actor. And just so good to hear the voice actors come back to reprise their roles and deliver all these amazing lines and play off each other once more. That's a great little touch and I really something that makes the series very magical. The amount of love and joy and happiness that the creators clearly have in putting these anime together in these games. Now the game itself plays out like a typical RPG. You got a lot of really cool systems and Sorry, excuse me. And it's a very well designed game. There's nothing wrong with it. It's pretty much standard SRBG. So the appeal of this game isn't so much the gameplay, which, hey, it delivers well enough, but it's the fan service, really. If you are a fan of any of these anime, or if any of these anime look cool, if you're a fan of anime in general and just want to see, and a fan of crossovers, this is really the game for you. Now, just I did mention the OG original generation games, and here's the game's original generation mech. Now, for those not know, the original generation mecha in Super Robot Wars are the mecha designed specifically for each game. And the original generation games, as you may surmise, are where the are where the creators, Bandai or Band Presto as they used to be known, uh, basically take the original generation games and spin them sorry, original generation mechas and characters and spin them off into their own games. It's a crossover series spun out from a crossover series. And if that blows your mind, yes, it did that for me too, and that's what makes this series so magical. Okay, and now we got G Gundam here. Absolutely, Domon is the Chad of G Gundam. He is Chuck Norris, and, and in this game, he is depicted with all the respect he deserves. So, and that is something in which really surmises the appeal of Super Level Wars. The characters are treated with respect. They interact in, with each other in ways that you can imagine these characters interacting, even though you know they logically never could. But Super Level Wars breaks logic with the real cool, and I really appreciate that for them. There's really not much more for me to say on this game at all, or on this series, other than the fact that it's been a relative unknown in the West, but it's making some headway. It used to be Japan only for reasons I'm sure you can imagine. Getting these games over to the West would be a copyright nightmare. But uh, lately, the for the past few years, the developers at Ban Presto have been sorry at Bandai. Ban Presto used to be the name of the developers for Super Robot Wars, but they've since just gone back to the games being made by Bandai. So. But yeah, they've come to realize that, yes, there is an audience in the West, and they've begun to do their own transla English translations for the games themselves. So far, there have been four. Super Robot Wars W, Super Robot Wars X, Super Robot Wars Original Generation The Moon Dwellers for the PS4. Uh, the previous two games are Vita and PS4, and Super Robot Wars T, which is PS4 and Nintendo Switch, when I'm playing it on here. So I do hope we get more, uh, we get the back catalog of Super Robot Wars remade in English or just ported over because that would be an absolute blessing. The series is, for anime fans like myself, it is just one supremely good time just to see all these characters and all these series play off each other and put into a game with so much love and respect. And so, and one great thing about the series, as with, with each, every title I encounter an anime or series in this game, which I've never heard of, but makes me curious enough to look it up. And for an anime fan, that's, that's a great thing to discover a new favorite series. And that's something this series does very well.
As you can see by my man Judao, even older series are recreated faithfully. That's Double Zeta uh, being recreated in its uh, classic style. And yeah, all I can do is really repeat what I've been saying here, that this series manages to just be such a joy and a love letter to mecha anime fans. And if that's you, you absolutely do need this in your life. Because this series and these games, they're all pretty much almost interchangeable except for the stories and the series they cross over. All the same flavor of crossover madness, all the same flavor of super strategy RPG. It's just the type of madness that it sorry, subscribes to. And of course there's always an OG mecha in there for you to follow along as it gets powered up and as the pilot becomes cooler and cooler. So it's not to say the stories aren't unique, but you know what you're getting when you're getting Super Robot Wars. And so this has just been my little introduction to the series. I'm going to let uh, Gal Gygar here uh, close us out with its heaven and hell attack. I want to thank you so much for tuning into my channel yet again as I go on and on about anime and games in general. Uh, let me know what you think. I'd like to do um, a full playthrough of uh, some of these Super Robot Wars series or even hardcore up on my Twitch channel. If you have any games you'd like me to cover as I start that up, please let me know. But I want to thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate everyone that watches these videos as I try to get a YouTube channel up and going. I'm trying to make it as positive and fun as possible in the spirit of the games I'd like to cover. Thank you so much. Be sure to like and subscribe as always. Peace out.